Welcome to Chromus Gaming News. In these videos, I'm going to be talking about what's new in my world of gaming. Let's get into it. First off, I'm going to be talking about Swords of Legends Online, Path of Exiles, and Eleon. If you're interested in any of the games I mentioned here or you're interested in anything else that you would like me to review or try out, make sure you leave a comment below. Swords of Legends Online. What's new? They've added two new raid bosses in our most recent patch update that they've put into the game. These two raid bosses are single boss encounters. What that means is essentially you'll be matched up against the boss right out of the gate when you enter the instance. No, you do not need to run through a maze or fight other bosses to get to the final boss. You are just presented with him. Both these bosses have mechanics and the mechanics are going to be listed down below on how to fight them. I will be doing videos on these mechanics later down the road. The bosses will be able to drop easy from easy mode to, hard, to normal mode. You have collectibles and mounts to I-75 gears and recipes. This, this update also brought in two new changes to our weeklies for Blood Ruvia and Envoy. Both of these will now have the chance of giving you either the pants or the top level 75 gear piece. By turning in the weekly through the collection, you'll be able to get that you have a chance of, to obtain those items. They've also increased our mysterious parchment from 16 to 18 per week, meaning we can collect that much, uh, six more per attempt, uh, up to additional 12, it would seem. Last, you are no longer locked out of the raid. What this means essentially is once you hit max level, you'll be able to re-enter the raid even after completing it. You won't get drops just like you don't do in dungeons, but this allows us to help our guild members and our clan members and friends. So if you're interested in playing Swords of Legends Online, it is a buy to play. You can use my affiliate link to purchase the game. Path of Exiles, what's new? Path of Exiles just released their next update 3.15, Exposition Challenge, or League. In this league, we'll be essentially helping these new NPCs, uh, these traders, to recover their their lost artifacts. These artifacts are going to be hidden inside uh, the ground, and you have to blow it up to scavenge it. Essentially, placing dynamite and exploding it to kill monsters, kill the monsters, get the loot, get these artifacts, trade the artifacts to them to get more loot, and so on and so forth. Pretty straightforward uh, style. The gambling reminds me a lot of Diablo 2 style gambling. So if you ever played Diablo 2, it's similar to that with a twist, like all Path of Exile expansions. That being said, the next addition they've added into it is 19 new skills gems that they've added in four of them really stood out to me we have explosive concoction which is throwing potions or your flask we have spectral helix which is essentially hammered in from be able to we have eye of the winter which is frozen orb from sorceress for diablo 2 and finally forbidden right which is poison nova from the necro each of these skills look amazing, and this really just brought me back to my childhood playing Diablo 2. So I'm like, I have to just dive in and start playing the Frozen Orb character, and I'm building a witch right now around it. It's just, it's so much fun. It really is. Uh, I really highly recommend playing Path of Exiles if you've never tried it already. The next thing they also changed in this update, which is really needed for a long time, was the flask system. The flask system was really uh, heavily dependent on keeping them active the entire time. Having enough charges on you uh, to be able to essentially just keep speed killing. Uh, they changed that now. It's going to be, it feels like it's more to me, like it's more incentive, right? You can't just kind of spam them at will. You really want to use them when you need them and not just kind of piano keying them uh, and keeping them running. Uh, they made it a little bit harder to keep the charges. They give us new currency items and new flask items to help like switch up our interactive gameplay with the flask. By doing that, though, they've reduced like how much the flask helped us, but they also increased a lot of the, the base stats of skills. So that's nice. Act one got like a little re overhaul of, of damage output from the monsters, more HP on monsters, and they've uh, moved Brutus as well. So he's no longer in his little arena. That's pretty much it for Path of Exiles update. There's a lot in Path of Exiles that they always update in each of these patches. Uh, the patch notes will be below, so if you're interested in Path of Exiles, please, I, re I recommend reading those patch notes and looking through them. Uh, last thing on my list is Elyon. Elyon's closed beta is right around the corner on August 18th. If you haven't already gotten into the closed beta key, uh, the closed beta 2, you can get a key by either linking your Twitch to 
uh, their cacao account and watching on august 18th any twitch streamer that has twitch drops enabled you'll be able to get access after watching one hour if you're also watching longer than that you'll be able to obtain other items for the release as well the game is buy to play so if you do pre-order the game you get access to closed beta 2 as well that way the game packages are $29.99, $59.99, and $99.99. Each of them have their bonuses and, and, and things like that. Rubies, expansions, and so on and so forth. Skins and, and things like that. The $100 package is really not that bad of a deal. You do get a lot out of it. Uh, if you're going to be really hardcore playing, is I do rec I for me personally, I would purchase the $99 package. That being said, if you're just trying to find a new game, you don't know if you're going to like it, do start with the lower end package of the $29.99. Elyon's closed beta 2 will include multiple things such as class balancing, we're going to have mana awakening skills, we're also going to have the Slayer class. I will be playing the Slayer in this closed beta, I will also be streaming this week whenever I have time to stream the closed beta 2 of Elyon. I will have Twitch, uh, Twitch drops enabled, so if you're interested in stopping by, please do so. My Twitch link will be below in the description. With that being said, if you do pre-order the game, it gives you a head start into the game. The biggest package does give you 72 hours or three days. The second package gives you 48 hours. And if you just buy the pre-game pre-order base package, it gives you 24 hours. So with that being said, hopefully this gives you a good overview of what games I'm playing and some of the news that you might have may or not have known. If this helped you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget that notification bell for when I go live or upload new videos on YouTube. If you're looking for new games to play or have any other things to tell me, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you're interested in and what I should cover in the next Chroma's Gaming News. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. And like always, take it easy.